Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to create access levels, groups and access levels. All right, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create your group. And let's say we want to call a group and we're going to call it employees. All right, so we're going to create a new group called employee. And of course, we're going to make that. And now what we want to do is we want to select the parent group. We want to make sure the parent group is registered. So we want to put it in that registered tree so it has access to all the registered content and above. And that is it. And so when we look at the tree here, you'll see that employee falls up underneath the register. Now we're going to go to view access levels. So let's click on view access levels. Now, one thing that you want to remember is when you're dealing with view access levels, you want to keep in mind of the members that are going to be a part of that group and what they can see. So if a member is is registered, you know, you want to be able to say, hey, okay, for the registered level, um, members that are super users or members in the platinum plan or members in the gold plan or, you know, employees, they can see registered. Okay, so now we want to assign our new group to the registered. And then we want to go through each one of our plans, our silver plan, next step up. So we say in the silver plan, who can see the in silver plan? Well, you know, the employee can see it. But people that are in the registered plan cannot see it. All right. In the gold plan, so we'll go one next step up. The gold plan, who can see the gold plan? Well, super users can see the gold plan. Employees can see the gold plan and managers can see the, the gold plan. But people who are in the registered plan and people who are in the uh, are registered group and people are, who are in the, the, the silver group cannot. And then finally, the platinum. You know, super users can view the platinum. Groups that are in the platinum can view the platinum. And uh, users that are in employees, you know, in the group employee and the group manager, they, they can view it, but others can't. And the last thing, we're going to create a new access level for employees now. And we're going to call this employee so users of the employee group can see this access level administrators managers and super users can can see this level but members that are in the platinum gold or silver or registered cannot see this group employee All right, so now let's go ahead and test this out. So what we'll do is we'll come over here to our menu, and we're going to add a new menu link. And just for kicks and giggles, let's just call this um, – we'll just do an iframe wrapper. How's that? So Test employee is what we're going to call it. A URL, we're just going to put in Google. Okay, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to change our access level to employee on the menu. And we'll go ahead and we will click save and close. All right, so when we go to the site, We will not see the, the it on the, the, the title bar. Well, if we try to log in as a user, you can see that we can see other things, but we can't see this. And we're using we logged in. We're part of the gold plan right now, so we'll log out. Now, what we'll do is we'll come back over here to the user manager. And we'll give 
we'll change the user plan to employee. And we'll, we'll save. Okay, when we log in to the employee, well, now we'll see the test employee shows up on the screen. So when you click on the test employee, it pulls up the iframe that we have. And then if we log out, you can see that it goes away. And then if we log in one more time as we change the user group, that person does not have the sufficient user group that they're in. Now, if a user's already logged in, they'll still be able to have access to it. It's only when they log out that, you know, that things change. So we'll log back in now and that we have under the silver plan. And you see the silver content registered, but we don't see the employee. So that's how you do the access levels.